All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, insecurity in Nigeria has become something else. The security situation in the last 21 days, especially in northern Nigeria, has been the worst under Tinubu. Even Amnesty International reported that over 680 Nigerians were kidnapped within this period. All we have heard from the government is that security forces should ensure that the victims are rescued. Nothing more. And more and more Nigerians have come to believe that the APC government's attitude towards insecurity in Nigeria is more than just negligence and inefficiency. More Nigerians have come to agree that many of the top APC members truly have a hand in this insecurity. And few hours ago, it was reported that Fulani terrorists attacked Benue, Katsina and Zamfara, killing and abducting hundreds of Nigerians. Before I show you how this happened and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this update. In nine months, Tinubu surpassed Buhari's failure, placed his children above ministers, concentrated appointments on Lagos people, Kenneth Okonkwo, veteran Nollywood actor and spokesperson for the Labour Party presidential campaign, Dr. Kenneth Okonkwo, has lambasted Tinubu's administration, saying that anarchy is looming in Nigeria based on how Tinubu is running the country. Okonkwo, while speaking on mic on podcast with Sheung Okimbaloe, said he thought that former President Muhammadu Buhari's eight years of administration was the worst Nigerians ever had, but until he realized that Tinubu had surpassed the former president in nine months. He said that Tinubu placed his children above ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and only concentrated his appointments on Lagos of Jagabanic prodigies tainted with Emilokon philosophies. Okonkwo said, Anarchy looms in Nigeria. Nigeria is not Lagos, where you sit down and decree things and you expect it to work that way. You don't compare gold with carrots. Initially, I thought Buhari's regime was going to be the worst. But in nine months, this government has surpassed it. You know what it means when you place your children in order of protocol before ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. What do you call that I saw? You are allowing somebody to come to Aso Rock, sitting on the coat of arms, to call our military men thieves. This government, in terms of appointment, is just concentrating not even on the southwest, but on the Lagos axis of the Jagabanic prodigies, tainted with Emilokon philosophies. Mm. Kenneth Okonkwo always hitting the nail on the head in the most poetic of ways. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by Mr. Gio says, I know Agbadorians and Emilokon FC youths hate the truth, but they are the ones complaining the most now. Cassava and corn youths, how market. That is it. They will complain and complain until they die inside that complaint, if they don't repent. And this tweet by the future says, To think Tinubu has surpassed Buhari in failing just makes me speechless. I am telling you, I never believed that anyone could surpass Buhari in failure. And this tweet here says, Where is the lie? His children are in every government meetings. What are they doing there? For anyone to surpass Buhari's failure in nine months, that means that person is a legend when it comes to failure. That is it. And this tweet by Quest says, Kenneth Okonkwo's assertion highlights Tinubu's prioritization of personal interest over national governance, emphasizing nepotism and regional favoritism in appointments, potentially exacerbating systemic challenges. That is it. And this tweet by the purveyor of truth says, only in Nigeria, you have bandits and kidnappers with BVN, NIN, bank accounts, cell phones, laptops, driver's license, browse internet, and yet Nigerian law enforcement officers cannot locate them. Are the police and the army part of the cover-up? Of course they are. People in high places are using them. And that's exactly what I talked about at the beginning of this video. These people cannot be operating in this society at this level 
using phones, having NIN driver's license, browsing the internet, and the security forces are telling us that they cannot get them. That is a big fat lie. The people in high places are involved. Heavily involved, to put it correctly. After all, a large percentage of these terrorists wrecking havoc in Nigeria today are not just Fulani headsmen, but militia brought into this country by the APC in 2014-2015 to fight the Jonathan administration. We know the facts. Now, let us look at how these terrorists have caused heavy tension in Nigeria with their recent attacks while our military is concentrating on Delta State and the Southeast these guys are wrecking havoc in northern Nigeria. They attacked Benue, Zamfara, and Katsina State, killing and abducting scores of Nigerians. Look at how the papers reported it. Benue State community calls for help as armed headsmen kill scores of residents. Many people have been reported killed by suspected armed herdsmen in Ugobi community of the upper local government area of Benue State following a coordinated attack on the community. The attack, it was gathered, started on Wednesday and did not stop till the early hours of Thursday. According to Channels TV, a community leader, Eric Amodu, said the threat of the attack on the community had been rife for over a week before the violent attack started last night. He said, we have been living in fear and apprehension from possible attack by suspected headsmen given their influx to the community and its surroundings. But last night, the violent attack began with our people being killed in numbers, while many of them fled the community. Just as they made to see what is left of the community, the second round of attack by the armed headsmen began, and as I speak, all the people I have been calling to get their whereabouts are not responding to calls. Oh, we urgently need help from security operatives and the government at all levels before we are all consumed. When contacted on the renewed killings in the local government area, the police spokesperson, Shewese Anene, said the commissioner of police, Emmanuel Adeshino, visited APA last week to ensure adequate troops deployment, but admitted that her office was yet to get information on the latest attack. Now, that was in Benue State. Fulani terrorists having the time of their lives with the blood of innocent Nigerians in Benue State. And the people are calling on the government to come to their rescue. And Nigerians responded to them. But before I show you how Nigerians responded, let us look at the attack in Katsina State. That's the second attack. Everything almost happening at the same time. Look at how the papers reported this. Bandits attack Katsina government-owned transport vehicle. Kidnap passengers. Some passengers have been reportedly kidnapped by some gunmen suspected to be bandits in the Kankara local government area of Katsina State, northwest Nigeria. It was learned that the gunmen attacked an 18-seater bus with the registration number 14B300KT loaded with passengers belonging to the Katsina State Transport Authority. The incident was said to have occurred between the Bodugua and Yagoje communities before reaching Kankara town. An eyewitness told Channels Television that most of the passengers on board were on transit from the Funtao LGA to Katsina LGA. That is another terrible attack, but it was actually a trilogy of attacks on that fateful day with another one happening in Zamfara State. Look at how the papers reported it. Terrorist attack community in Zamfara State kill four residents. Terrorists have reportedly attacked Mashaya village in Jangebe district, Talata Mafara local government area of Zamfara state and killed at least four people. The terrorists stormed the village with sophisticated weapons and shot sporadically to scare the residents. A witness who confirmed the incident to AIT said that no fewer than four people were killed and several others injured adding that the attack had created panic in the village. However, the police are yet to make an official statement on the incident at the time of filing this report. Efforts to confirm the incident failed as the Zamfara State Police Public Relations Officer, Yazid Abubakar, did not answer calls made to his phone number. Now, 
observe the attitude of security officers whenever these things happen over 80 percent of the times they will call them they won't pick their calls they won't reply their messages like a physical attitude and it is because they know that the sponsors of these enormous crimes are men in high places so no matter how they rush there to try to put things in order there will be reoccurrence and i don't need to tell you that nigerians reacted massively to these updates but i'm mostly concerned about those who asked communities that are prone to these attacks to stop calling on government that they should look for a way to begin to defend themselves they should just save their lives let's take some of those tweets and all of those tweets actually were talking to those people in benway state this one says benway indigents should start defending themselves than call for help you must show the world your seriousness. And this one says, help is not coming. You are the only one that can free yourselves. Rise and defend yourselves. Do like Israel. Give them back. And this tweet by Adewale says, Tinubu will not do anything. Fight and defend yourselves and the unborn children. He has spoken. If we do not surrender our lands to Fulanese, there cannot be peace. The real cattle owners are the rich and the powerful. One thing is sure. Help will surely come. God will raise an helper. He's saying they will be helped, but they have to begin by defending themselves. Well, my heart is with the people of Benue State. I hope they come out of these real soon. But Benue State has an APC governor. They say he means well for the state. And I cannot imagine somebody who means well for a state running under an evil party like the APC. You already know my position about these guys. Nothing good can come out of the APC, in my opinion. Anyway, make I leave I'm here. Make I still enter town. <laughs> make I go get some Ogbonge political news. We will not go like. Why? Because that because of Funa. Now I day here, so don't go away. <laughs>